All right, hey guys, uh, this is Leontes, and I'm here with LK404. Hey, this is LK404. So we're doing a couple like gameplay videos for Codex Crime Time Strategy, which is our new game that's on Kickstarter right now. Um, we're going to be playing a couple matches. Uh, this might be the first of a couple of videos. It's not going to be one long video. Um, but we're going to play the starter set right now, uh, Bashing versus Finesse. Yep, so, and I am rocking fin uh, Finesse on the uh, left side. Yeah, and I'm uh, Leontes on the right, playing Trock Bashar, the bashing hero on the right side there. And I'm playing River Montoya. Yeah. So this is what you'll get in the starter set. Um, you, you won't get the uh, these these mats. These mats are actually kind of outdated. Um, uh, you can't see the part of it that's outdated. Yeah, that's fine. yeah, yeah. But what you will get is that little tech board that's on the side there, the one that has that truck sitting on um, with the little tech buildings and stuff in the worker pile. Um, so that's pretty much the starter set. You'll see how the game unfolds. Um, you can check out some of the rules videos. LK404 posted a really good one on the Kickstarter, so you should check that out to kind of get a feel. But hopefully the commentary here will be good enough to, to make it easy to understand what's happening. And we'll do our best to... Uh, to, to kind keep. of talk you through it, we'll yeah. uh, do our best Team Covenant impression here. Yeah, totally. And so um, we're not going to even lie. We recorded these uh, yesterday, and we're just going to be like commentating on a match we already did. So hopefully it'll be a little bit cleaner than trying to do it. You know, and and you'll get time. to hear uh, hear all of my agony in my uh, my poor decision making. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. So I believe uh, I have the four X on the workers in the bottom left there. Uh, the bottom I right also there. have the four X. Uh, so we haven't picked it yet. All right. What do we got? Who's going first? Okay. So I go first. So I guess LK is gonna flip his card. Yeah. Again. There we go. <laughs> yeah. First player gets four workers. Uh, second player gets five workers to start. All right, so typical start. I'm gonna make a worker. I think it was out of Spark, which is a one damage to a to, to a patroller thing. Uh, Timely messenger. messenger. It's a it's a one one with haste. He's a good guy. And I pay two gold to summon my hero. Messenger is gonna swing at the base and do one damage. Man, same as the tutorial opening actually. Oh, is it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah nice. one one haste guy and the hero. Yeah, cool. Okay, so Chuck's gonna block. He's in the squad lead spot. Let's give him an extra plus one to armor. It's like a temporary hit point buff. So he's gonna defend my my base from bad things happening. Yep. He's, so if I draw a messenger, then uh, it's not really gonna do anything here. Yeah, he'll just swing into Chuck and die for no value. Yeah, I hope I'm workering that messenger right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So four gold remaining. Um, he's got six workers now. So player two going second is is interesting because. He can build his tech one building now. The tech one building requires uh, six workers in the pile. It costs one gold to do that. Um, so we'll see what he decides to do here. However, I hadn't, haven't had a tech yet. And so I'm not going to be able to draw my tech one units until turn three. Yeah, that's that's the kind of a general rule of the game. So here comes River Montoya. As, River Montoya as, comes into play at level one. Yeah, as LK says, uh, I'm going to regret this as he plays River. Oh, no, I... I uh, uh, I'm regretting Wither. Wither, yeah. Okay, so Wither is a it's a two gold spell. It's you put a minus one minus one token on a unit or hero. So my truck is effectively weakened. It's now a one two. Um, River is a two three, so I can't really yeah, kill her. All right, so my second turn starts. I tech two cards. You see the two cards I put out go into my discard pile. So those I'm going to be able to draw a little bit later in the game. Um, I should probably make a worker now and then get my tech one building started. And I'm pretty sure this uh, this wither doesn't pan out for me. Let's see. So yeah. pay one. Still got a worker. Tech. Worker. Yeah. Hesitant worker. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to decide what I wanted to get rid of there. Let's see. Make change. Enjoy your one, two that you got. Pay one for the tech one. Okay. Two. Yeah, hey, Bloom. Bloom yeah. gets rid of the wither counter. Yeah, so uh, Bloom is at a plus one, plus one to something. And so he... Uh, the plus one and plus one and minus one, minus one cancel out, and he just gets to remove the counter. Yeah, that would be so strange if it's... You have both on the guy, so it's kind of clean. That's, I, I like it. It's good to get the green off Chalk. Yeah, so Chalk is, is pretty good. Um, notably, um, when you level up heroes in this game, they will heal all the damage off of them. They won't remove those counters, though. So those are important to get it off. So I need to draw cards, and I can't, so that means I have to take my discard pile and shuffle it and put it in my draw pile and then draw my new hand from there. That's how the tech cards actually get into your hand, is that you're you're kind of drafting them a couple turns in advance and trying to time them to be in your hand at the right time. Yeah, so you add them to your discard, and you only get them on later draws after your reshuffle. Yes. So 
on my turn here, same deal. Probably going to make a worker, make a tech one building, and then hopefully get yeah. some board on the table. See what we got. Probably Tenderfoot coming. Tenderfoot. Oh, uh, Worker the Fruit Ninja. Actually, yeah. Yeah, hesitant. I can kind of see what I'm teching here. Cool. Make a tech one build. It's like I was thinking about boot, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why the flag bearers are good from the uh, from the finesse side. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I put those in my discard. I'm actually not supposed to do that yet. I think I might pick them up because certain things could affect me drawing cards. The, the the tech cards go into your discard pile at the start of the turn. The, the timing's a little bit interesting, but you'll see me later on. I'm going to start taking my techs and put them like on the table in front of me, and then when my turn starts, I'll put them in my discard pile. Yeah, I need to get in the habit of that. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty quick to put tech cards on top of my discard. <laughs> yeah, so LK has some... He's just musing over terrible decisions he could make here. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I enjoy making kind of oddball plays, but they uh, they're not always they're not always good. <laughs> four gold. Four. What am I paying four for? Oh yeah, he oh. he maxes that river. What? What is in my hand? It's oh, the free tenderfoot. Got it. Got it. Okay. So yeah, the the max band of uh, river is your tech zero units cost one less to play and tenderfoot is a one cost unit so that was the point of that was to get the maxed out truck and or maxed out river and to get a free tenderfoot and tenderfoot's really good it's a it's a one two for one it's not that interesting but it does have the virtuoso keyword which, which is really good for finesse yeah finesse is a lot of combo -y stuff but having a, a one two in the squad lead spot effectively makes it a one three as a blocker that's really good for zero gold so finesse is, finesse has three attack at the uh, at the max band, so still not enough to swing and take out Trock. Yeah, he's actually a two three though. For now, double but, Iron Man. Yeah, so I got to tech one. Um, I had both my Iron Men. So Iron Men are just really beefy tech one units. So three gold for a three four. So right now the one in the squad lead is a three five effectively, and then there's a. 4-4 four, four in the elite spot. So his first tech had to have been two Iron Man, and he drew them both on his uh, first hand after the reshuffle. Yeah. Okay. So using both uh, Troc and the Messenger to take out Tenderfoot? Yep. So Troc's a 2-3, and the Messenger's a 1-1, one, one, so I needed three damage to get in there. But I'm trying to decide what I want to do with that Iron Man. I'm going to put it in Scavenger. So Scavenger is really cool because it, if the Iron Man dies, I'm going to draw an extra card. But I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. What uh, do? Misspeak, uh, Technician. Uh, technician draws you the card, uh, oh, Scavenger I did, gets I you gold. Correct. Um, but for some reason you're going to resist, and I'm not sure uh, what it is you're scared that I, what, what spell I'm going to play. Oh, mostly it was the mid-band sideline ability from got it, got River it. that I was worried about. So River can tap and then sideline a patroller. So what I wanted to make sure was that she didn't kill the Iron Man with some hasted guys, because there's some Tech 1 hasted units. Yep. And, and I uh, wanted to try to avoid that, but I also wanted to make sure that she didn't just sideline my other Iron Man. If it's in the resist slot, so she can still do it, it'll just it cost, cost gold. an extra gold. Yeah, um, and then get through to my truck and kill truck. So All that right. that was the the impetus. So on my tech phase, I ended up teching two Starcross Starlets, which are uh, two cost three twos. Um, pretty sure I'm gonna play one here after making this worker. Yeah. They're two cost three twos and they're virtuosos, right? Yep, virtuosos, and on their upkeep they take a damage, but they get uh, plus one attack for every damage they have. Oh, double virtuoso versus double Iron Man. So flag bear and the resist spot. Yep, and only paying two for it because of the max band. Yes. So the the point of the uh, the flag bear is to prevent me from casting spells like spark and wither and bloom a flag bearer is an interesting unit it's it's kind of like a spell taunt if a if a ability has a target symbol on it it means that you must target the flag bearer before you target other things so there's a, a spell in bashing called the boot which you saw me thumbing through my codex a little bit ago um, and it's like destroy a tech zero or tech one unit so that will mean that i have to pay an extra gold because the flag bearer is in the lookout spot. And you'll have to kill something that you're not super excited about killing. Yeah, I don't really killing. want to kill the flag bearer. I want to kill one of those starlets. So yep. that's, he's doing his job. And he was one gold cheaper, as, as you said. So I was pretty worried this game, because you had a max band river for a long time. And I was just worried that she was going to do shenanigans. Going straight to tech two. 
But I'm like, I, I got Iron Man. I can I can turtle up. I'm just going to go fast attack. Fast attack as you can really do in bashing versus finesse. Let's see, two gold left. Trox's next, uh, next band, as we call it, is at level five. So... So yeah. jumping straight to tech two, so was your first tech two Iron Man, second tech just two tech twos? I think my second tech was actually two Revolver Ocelots. Oh, interesting. Okay. And Revolver Ocelot is a uh, two gold, three three with Spark Shot. And Spark Shot lets you target a unit in the patrol zone and then deal one damage to an adjacent unit that's like right next to it. So if I hit the, uh, the scavenger slot, which is in the middle, Spark Shot will hit either the elite or the scavenger or the uh, technician. Alright, so Iron Man can get through and kill the Starlet. So the both Iron Men kill Starlets, and they both take three damage. Yep, and I draw a card for my Technician slot. Yeah, so Truck, actually, I was like, you know what? I'm going to lose Truck, so I'm just going to get value out of him. Wow. So I, I just suicide him into the uh, into the Flag Bearer, because I, I'm going to block with an older brother. Yeah, although killing a hero on your turn means that you have to... It's my turn, then your turn, then my turn, then you can get your hero back. So yeah. I don't have to worry about spells for a long time. Yeah, he's face down in the command zone. And yeah, spells are kind of a dead draw for me. But luckily, I, I, I knew that I might be having to do that. And so I didn't tech any of Troc's spells, like Intimidate or the Boot. Yeah, so now that Troc is dead... I mean, my Flag Bearer is dead too. But like I, uh, I, I know that now that I don't need to do that. So we got an eight gold for River. Max Man River, like you're looking like you're pretty good right now. Yeah, so you have two Iron Men, and both of my uh, tech ones are in the discard. So I'm probably got a handful of starting deck cards here. Yeah. All right, pay one, make a worker. So worker coming out. And then if I'm at tech two, so that means that you kind of need to. I need to go to tech two. Yeah. I can see that I'm grabbing Sneaky Pig. And I can also tell that I already have um, the other thing, teched, because I was missing another tech too. But we'll, we won't talk about that. <laughs> I'll try not to look at my techs from the binder. <laughs> Does this get too complicated? Brick play, thief. play, uh, and only cost one. Yeah. Yeah. Brick thief for one is so good. Yeah, brick thief is a pretty strong card. So it's a, uh, it's a two one. Repairs my base for one. It's, it's a 2-1, and when it comes into play, it does one damage to a building of your opponent's choice. That could be their base, it could be their tech buildings, whatever you want, and you heal one of your own. Ah, oh, the Wither kills the Iron Man. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Iron Man had one hit point left, and he got a minus one, minus one token. So I, think, I think I'm down to one card, though. This is, this is not... Okay, so River kills older brother. I draw a card because he was in technician slot, and my Iron Man survives. Yeah. Unfortunately, it looks like if you have uh, if you have Wither or uh, Spark or Timely Messenger, that's enough to kill River here. Well, nope, because Truck is going to be in the command zone. Dead, oh, though. he is. You're right. You're right. So Timely Messenger is the thing I'm worried yeah. about. Timely Messenger can haste, take out Brick Thief, and then Iron Man can trade with uh, River yeah. there. So the really the really cool thing about uh, Brick Thief right now is that he. Um, He's in this. He's in the technician slot, and he has an ability where if he dies, he just goes back to your hand. So if, once I kill that brick thief, my hand goes up by been, two. Yeah, this is why uh, LK was okay going down to to one card, which means that he's only going to draw three, because the brick thief will go to his hand and I'll draw a card, so he'll be at five. He'll make it back to to maximum hand size. So I play a timely messenger. There it is. And all I need to do is put one damage on Brick Thief, and now. So, Hasted 1-1, one, one, perfect for the situation. I think my play is going to be run the Messenger into the Brick Thief, and then run the Iron Man into... Uh, into River. Yeah. Oh, I build a tower here. Tower. Yeah, tower is an add-on building. And that's a, uh, it's a detector, so if he has any invisible or stealth guys, then it'll, it'll see one of them. But notably, um, every time he attacks now, he, his units are going to take one damage. damage. Yeah. yeah. Because I'm worried about the hasted options that Finesse has at Tech 1 and Tech 2. So Countering with the opposing Brick Thief. All right. So. Oh, yeah, oh that's is, misplays and goes yeah. to my discard. Oh, and did you see I, I drew the uh, Apple Stomp? Oh, did you? Yeah, I, I, I topped at the Apple, Apple Stomp just now, and you're going to kill Max Level River. No. So I just drew my ultimate spell. From the Yeah, from the technician. And I, I think I just made a comment about I don't want to get Apple Stepped to death. Yeah. Oh, man. 
Yeah, I said that. I, said I don't want to get Apple Stomp. <laughs> I knew that with a Max Band River that early, you're going to detect that. So Apple Stomp is her, her ultimate spell, and you can only play it if you had a Max Band, a maximum level river, uh, the turn. This is like most ultimates are like that. Yeah. The, the turn that you have it. So there's a little bit of counterplay. If I see that you have a maxed out hero, I might want to try to kill it. Oh man, that, that hand is so full of spells. It's, it's oh, I see I see a Discord it, or there, Harmony. There's Discord and Two Step and uh, and River's Ultimate in there. Oh no. I think I just worker Discord. Oh man, I, I got nothing on the board right so, now. So this game is uh, asynchronous, right? Uh, it means that you know I take my turn, you take your turn, and you don't make any decisions uh, on your opponent's turn. But the way that there is like counterplay and interesting dynamics is you preemptively counter things. Like if I want him to not play certain tech one options, I gotta kill his tech one building. If I want him to not play spells, I gotta kill his, kill his hero. hero. So there there are ways to to kind of like figure out what your opponent is gonna do and try and deal with it. So oh, like this oh man. Floating five gold, this is this is such a misplay. Five gold is tech three. Yeah, five gold. He could have made his tech three building, and he needed to do that. And tech three is how I come back from this, because I just I have no board. This is uh, like I yeah. Yeah, I get to just swing at his base freely now, and I'm gonna take out. Yeah, Trot comes back into play finally. Um, we'll see what I can do to him though. So there's my tech. Now I put him in the discard because my turn just started. So. Oh man, floating f floating five gold and not getting the tech three building. Like I should be that's building right. that tech three building and it started it started te game. teching both tech three units. Oh, that's so terrible. Not that we haven't played this a bunch, but <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. <clears throat> yeah, and then you do the, you do the right thing. You build your tech three and yeah, I gotta if nobody's rushing my base, I'm gonna build my my biggest building. So brick thief deals two to uh, tech two probably. Yep, he dies though because the tower is still there. Yeah, so the tower deals one damage to all attackers. And this is where you realize that, oh, I actually discarded Brick Thief that one time instead of putting him in my hand. <laughs> you thought, wow, Technician plus Brick Thief? That's crazy. I, that can't be right. So, But it is, and it's really strong. So let's see. Two, two health on the Tech 2. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. Oh, this is the turn that I drew the Hired Stompers. So Hired Stomper is a card that, um, it's like arrives, uh, deal, deal three, three to a unit. unit. And he had no board, so I was like, man, I can't really play these. And if I did, I'd have to kill my own guys, but I have no guys either. Actually, does it does it kill itself if you have nothing Maybe it else? would. I think it would, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, do all you can is one of the major rules of this game, to, to make the rules simple. Um, typically, you can just kind of read something and, and, and figure it out from there. Yeah, so this this is the part where it's super obvious that I should have built the tech three because I, I I have I'm sitting on fifteen gold and there's yeah. I gotta do the same thing. So yeah, and I don't know if you drew the blade master this turn. Yeah, there we go. Build the tech three with the with a small die. I'm running out of the big dice. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. I think he just floods his patrol zone. So this is kind of neat. Like. The, the fact that this game is has somewhat of like deck building elements to it where you're drawing lots of cards all the time um, and you have a lot of gold to play with. The, the trade-off comes from if I play all these cards, um, my next draw is going to be weaker. And the way that the draws work is you count the cards in your hand, you discard whatever you got, and then you draw two more than you discarded. So he's just going to like... Yeah, just desperately. And so usually, block. if you uh, if you go down on hand size, it's really hard to come back up unless you uh, either skip making a worker for a turn, or if you have a turn where you just don't play anything. Right, um, which you did have one of those. <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, and the the technician, the, the technician slot, slot is really what helps there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so just two. So he's gonna draw, I think, five cards total. Yeah. To try and come back here, but two cards, no worker, and pray that I get the uh, the blade master. Okay, so let's see what I got. Did I draw my duck? My Trojan duck, like from history? Let's like see. from real history. Like from real history, right? <laughs> so. All right. Yeah, it's such good value for Brick Thief. It's a 2-1, goes back to my hand. Um, not notably, the patrol zone bonuses don't work when you're attacking. That's like a thing that we all kind of messed up on when we first started learning this game. So, Hired Stomper. There's there it a Stomper. Is. Stomper kills. Comes out, deals three immediately. It's it's a, it's a four gold for a four three. It's a tech two unit. It's pretty strong. So Trox got enough to uh, destroy the tech two building, which is going to be super sad for me, I think, right now. Yeah, so tech two is how he's going to come back. And so I swing at that. 
Jack will take one damage because that tower is still there. And my base takes two. Anytime you lose a uh, tech building or add-on, your base takes two. Correct. Um, notably, he's not going to have to play, pay that five gold again for the tech two. You just start rebuilding it. Yep. Um, you don't get you pay for it once, hard. rebuild it for free. The add-ons, however, no. If I blow his tower up um, and he wants to get another tower, it's going to cost another. So I, I believe a sneaky pig. This is a hasted unit, so it can attack the turn it comes in. And it's a uh, it's a stealthy unit, but it doesn't matter because tower detects it. Yep. It's a 3-3. Three, three. So. Dude, Brick dumping thief. out your whole hand here now. Yeah, but I have Technician Brick Thief. Yep. And that's just a great card in general. And if it dies, then I get to play Brick Thief again and, and do the one damage I need to the uh, Tech 3 building and kill it. Dude, I'm floating so much gold. Like this, this is one of those things that just happens in the game. As if, uh, so everything in your game, everything you have in Codex is vulnerable. So if you have Tech Two units, you're they're dependent on your Tech Two building. If you have spells, they're dependent on your hero. So yeah. if you if you lose your Tech building and lose your hero, um, you don't have that much to spend gold on. Yeah, you already have an add-on, so you can't even buy that to like spend it. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's another thing with heroes too. We're playing like one one hero versus one hero. Um, but a lot of times, you'll see like in our later videos, we're going to show you the three hero versus three hero game. Um, heroes are a really, really good uh, thing to dump gold into to get yep. really crazy effects. They're also card free, right? They're card know, free. Yeah, it's, it's really helpful. Yep. So a lot of times if you're if you're on the back foot and you're just, you know, you can't build the units that are in your hand, summon a hero, max out the hero. Yeah, totally. Let's see. Let's see if I do that here. I don't think that I do. All right, so Brick Thief comes up. Oh, I do. Yeah, I max out River because what else am I going to do with all that money? Uh, you get the gold back too because you if you maxed her out before you played the Brick Thief. Yeah, yeah. I think you did that retroactively. Yep. We retro plays here. So he goes he goes for face now. He's like, that's it. I'm tired of this. I got to try and work towards a, an actual end game goal. Yeah, because I'm uh, I'm not doing super well here. Yeah, he's playing lots Same of deal, tech zero still. Flood the, yeah. Yeah, all, four tech note, that, note that all of those are one cost less because of max band. <laughs> Yeah, he saved four gold, but he still has. But it, seven. it only it only cost me four gold to get her from level one to level five, though. Yeah, it's totally. like paid for herself. Yeah. So, but see, notice how like he can go from having an empty board to having five units. Um, that's just like the nature of this game. It's, and I still have two cards left in hand because uh, I got an extra card draw from when you killed my technician. Yep. Who was also a brick thief. So, if you went back to your hand and drew your card. So he's going to draw four. He needs to get to his Blade Master or any of the Tech 2s that he got. Like, he just hasn't been able to get anything on the board. I, I'm, I, might have building... I might have discarded a Tech 2 there because you destroyed my Tech 2 building. Yeah. All right. So I think I think this is where Duck comes out, though. Yeah, if Duck comes out, it deals four to the Tech 3, and then I can't play Blade Master, which is awful for me. Which might be what happens. So this is where like some of the uh, complex combat math comes into play. We got lots of patrol zone bonuses. The Brick Thief's a 2-2 two because -two it has that little point of armor. So I have to really pay attention to how I handle this. I know I'm going to play a duck, though. I think this is, this is duck time. And there's that tower, too. So the tower is going to mess up a lot of my combat math, too, because everything is going to take one more damage. <laughs> and I have one, too, so this is just like a messy board math situation. All right, so Stomper, Stomper trades with yeah, he the... he uh, dies with, to fight Brick Thief, yeah. You're not too sad about it because you draw him again and you get another burn spell? Yep, that's the idea. I think ultimately everything dies regardless. So I killed the Flag Bearer. He goes back to my hand. Oh, so you, you got another Stomper? Yeah, you do. I think I do, yeah. Yeah, I see it. Stomper comes out. Stomper comes out and deals three to another unit. Give me the gold of the card. Yeah, Give me the I kill the older brother because he's a 2-2, two -two, and then the next guy swings is going to run into the Tenderfoot, which is a 1-2, and I just save a point. Yep, so instead of taking 2 damage, he takes 1 damage. Well, he takes 2 because of the tower. Oh, that's true. Yeah, he does. Yeah, then I, I, I manually level him up to heal off the damage and then attack and take your... And then attack and take 2, yeah. Yep. So two gold. Bloom, I... Bloom, Bloom on the Sneaky Pig. pig. Yeah. So then that kills River. And they both die. And because um, I killed a hero on my turn, Truck's going to gain two levels right now. Uh, so that's, that's interesting. Like, it's a, it's another way to generate some advantage. But also, if you have to, like, 
sacrifice your hero on your turn, your opponent won't get levels, which is what I did earlier uh, when I when I ran my truck into the uh, the simple unit, you know. So truck's close to dying, but he's also close to max band. He's like only two levels away. Yep. So if you can level him up by two, he'll heal off all that damage. Yep. And then I can maybe play ultimate spells. So oh, there's that apple stomp in my hand again. No. <laughs> oh, that's so terrible. Apple stomp and two step. So Apple Stomp is is River's ultimate, and it's like it's an ultimate that lets you remove patrollers for like one gold. That's. I, I think I'm checking my deck to see like what's left to see if I draw the uh, the Blade Master because uh, my tech uh, my tech three building still survived and somehow. Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's why I spread my deck to see how many cards are left. All right, you made it to tech two. Yeah. Here's a Maestro and a Grounded Guide. Oh, and a cloud sprite. Cloud sprite. Even, lots of tech two stuff came out finally. So, what's what's uh, what's grounded guy? That's five gold for a. He's a four four. Uh, I yeah four four. He gives all your other units plus one attack. He gives all your other virtuosos plus two plus one. Yeah, so that's why the virtuoso keyword comes into play. It's one of the cards that does that. And then the other stuff in my hand is two spells. Yeah, the maestro is a three five. Um, he's it lets a four, you play five. virtuosos for free. Yeah. That gets, out, that gets out of hand. Luckily, the Maestro and the Grounded Guide are not Virtuosos. They're both Thespians, so it's, they can't like play each other out. But what's crazy, though, is that River's Tech 3, the Blade Master, is a Virtuoso. Which means he not only does he have Swift Strike at Tech 3, but the Grounded Guide gives him an extra plus 2, plus 1. Yeah, and he's free to play. And then there's, like a, there's a Tech 1 unit that you didn't get this game for Finesse. Um, that makes all your virtuosos have haste. So finesse is a very, very combolicious deck. It's like if you can pull off all the little puzzle pieces, it's extremely overwhelming. And that's that's how finesse works. Is you get these big combo chains off, and it's really, really great. Bashing is more of a straightforward. I'm just gonna punch you in the mouth and. Bashing's just big dudes. Yeah, big dudes. Yeah. Trojan duck, like from real history and stuff. There it is. Trojan duck destroys the tech three. So Trojan Duck is a is the tech three unit for bashing. It's uh, oh I saw the virtuos uh, I saw the uh, the blade master. The blade master's in his hand. So again, I was able to clean that out. So Trojan Duck uh, prevented oh, the tech three. Yeah, it has an ability arrives or attacks um, deal four damage to a building. So this is like a game ending like yeah, I'm just gonna go and destroy everything with this thing. So uh, Trojan Duck is also an 8-9, it's a big guy, and it has an ability called Obliterate. So as Obliterate 2, which means when it attacks, it's going to immediately destroy the two weakest, uh, lowest tech of uh, LK-404's board. So it's, 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 yeah, it's like a game-ending thing. Yeah, He's so gonna every really time he attacks, it. I lose two units, which is massive. <laughs> Sneaky yeah. Pig has haste. Uh, <laughs> Trading with the Brick Thief. Trading Tech 2s with the Brick Thief. Yeah, Brick Thief is value, man. I actually remember guide... to put him in my hand again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ground th the Grounded Guide gives him a 3 attack, so... 3 attack is a pretty relevant number. And the uh, the, tower. the tower. So it's like 4 damage to yeah. anything I swing with. Brick Thief, do you attack the Brick Thief, take 4. Oh, so we didn't talk about the Cloud Sprite. Cloud Sprite's a flying unit. Um, It's a 3-2, I believe? Yeah, 3-2 flyer. So... Uh, all of your ground guys can't attack it. Yeah, they can't attack it. Um, it's floating in the resist slot in case you play another hired stomper. You got to pay an extra. Yes. Why do you have to clear me out next turn? Trading chalk with the. Uh... So this is where I. Oh. Yeah, I decide not to to kill. I go for. I'm just gonna block up. I want to protect that duck in case you end up with a bunch of stuff and can kill it. So I'm just I'm playing a messenger. It has haste, but I'm not attacking with it. I'm just trying to chump out the uh, the patrol zone and just, keep that duck safe. Just turtle up because that duck when that duck attacks, I'm gonna lose two units immediately. Mm -hmm. And so I'm gonna play units. You're gonna play units, but you're you're gonna I have to play two more units than the number of units that you play to be even on board. Yeah, and this is where like I don't even care about my hero right now. I'm I'm letting him die. He's in the the technician slot so I, i'm like go ahead and cloud sprite as a flyer it means that it gets to attack pretty much whatever it wants yep it can attack trojan duck and take no damage yep yeah it takes no damage back the only things that can hit it back are things that are flying or have the anti-air keyword uh, she'll take one from the tower tower is cool for dealing with flyers sometimes but she can also attack tech buildings and heroes and and it's just flying is a really really strong keyword yep 
that scheme is not yours. Yeah, and a Raspberry Pi. All right, so I destroyed the uh, I destroyed the Tech Three, and now which means I can't play my Tech Three unit this turn. Yeah, the Tech Three unit for finesse gives all of his units Swift Strike, and Swift Strike is I deal my damage before you deal yours. So and it's a seven five Swift Strike, which means yeah. I put it in the elite slot, and you're not getting through. Oh, it's also a Virtuoso, meaning the Grounded Guide gives him another plus two attack. So yep. he just gets way too big. And I play him for free. Yeah. If I had a tech three building. <laughs> yeah, he plays him for free because the Maestro's ability does that. Yeah. Maestro has another ability too that rarely rarely sees play, but it can be used to great effect. It's um all your virtuosos gain an ability where if they just tap uh, or exhaust themselves, they uh deal two damage to a building. There's the Discord, all units get minus two, minus one. It's yep. enough to so basically I'm paying two to kill the messenger. Yep, kill the messenger. And so Stomper is weak. So Cloud Sprite can kill the Stomper, I believe. No, it can't. Uh, uh, no, it, yeah, no, it gets, so yeah, it gets plus one attack from the uh, Grounded Guide. So yeah, it'll right. kill the... Uh... And it's got the minus one health this turn, so... Yep. Even without the Grounded Guide's help. But you're just trying to, like figure out what the best play is right now. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how do I get around this Trojan Duck without being able to play my Blade Master. Yeah. You can only fl flood the board for so long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Tech 3 was pretty much my win condition there because if I had no if I had no pressure from you in the early game, then that meant that I can just sort of get there. Yeah. Whereas normally, like, Tech 3 doesn't happen, like, that often. Um... It's not really a comeback thing. It's more of like a, a, a nail in the coffin most of the time. Yeah, it's your it's your four gem. It's uh yeah, it, yeah. it's your it's your carrier in StarCraft. It's... Yeah, totally. And you had no pressure in the mid game. There was a turn where you played literally nothing because I killed River and she was full of spells. Yep, handful of spells. So I was like, oh, I'll just make tech three, and I'll just keep on I'll just keep on hitting your your tech options and and removing making dead cards in your hand. That's that's really what killing tech buildings does. It does it did a little bit of damage to the base, but that's not that important. What's important is it stops your opponent from playing things. Yes. Which is huge. Dark dies. Rook, uh, um, River would gain levels. Yep. Yes. So I think you decide here not to let your grounded guide... Oh, no, I bloom the grounded guide and use him to hit the duck. Five. Hit him for five, yeah. Trying my best to whittle down the duck. Yeah, so duck has four health left. You think that's correct? Hitting the duck versus hitting the destroying the tech three, because you can just play another duck next. I do turn. play another duck this turn. I think. Yeah, that's. Because uh... right now you you got value. You you also wanted to trade with guide because there's no reason not to. He's gonna get obliterated. So. Yep. Next turn you attack with the duck. I lose the guide anyway. So. Rebuild the tech three in hopes that I draw my other virtuoso. Yep, yep. Or my, uh, my other uh, Blade, Blade Master. Master. Yeah. Yeah, doing some math right now. Yeah, there we go. That's that's the correct play. Because what happens is, is if you play that, if you play a sneaky pig, then it, uh, it's enough to take out. Yeah, this is like a, there's two bad decisions. Yeah, I end up I end up doing a thing that makes it better if she's in the elite spot. But yeah. it's like if, if if River was in the elite spot, I would have done a different thing. So yeah. in in either situation, he didn't have a good choice here. He's just he's just losing at this point. So timely messenger just died. So you're not going to get a uh, a timely messenger. So you can double sneaky pig to take out River and then I forget what I did. Then either attack base or attack tech three. Yeah, I'm close to just swinging that base, I believe. And duck number two. Duck number two deals four damage to something. So I think I, I think I just hit tech three, or do I go? Do I go? Do you base? go for base? I think this is yeah. You're you're on. This is you, the hard part. Is do you deny your opponent options, or you just run straight for their face? Because that's that's the thing. Like uh, we'll probably talk about that in a future game, or we play red versus green. But in some games, like the aggro. Like, the aggro decks are not that difficult to play sometimes. 
in this game, playing like aggro red is like one of the most mathy things you can do because you have to decide at what point is it more viable for me to go straight for the base. At what point can you get lethal? And yeah, you want to be able to just barely eke out lethal and not die. Yeah. Yeah, so here I go, I go the for the base because I'm like, well, you have to deal with ducks. Yeah, duck dies to river, but yeah. it has arrives or attacks deal four. So I attack and I hit the uh, the base again. And the obliterate kills cloud sprite, so my board is empty. You have a tech three and my board is empty. Yep. This is this. And is then the I just block with a revolver ocelot and an older brother. So I have six health in the patrol zone and I got nine health on that duck. Although I do finally have a uh, a tech three building that survived. Yep. But maybe you drew spells again. <laughs> yeah it's like you might you might get a blade master on the board right now but that doesn't but it's not but I need big to, enough to so, kill duck so well duck, worse than that i need uh, i need two other units to make it so that it doesn't uh it doesn't just immediately die when the duck attacks yes yeah there's a blade master there he is this is yeah crossed blades Starcross, Starlet, Blade yeah, Master. Here, here we go. Drop the whole hand. Let's just let's just flood. Blade there Master, in the elite slot. Where's the nimble fencer? I don't have it. Yeah, I'm asking right now in game. I said, "Where's the nimble fencer?" That's the thing that gives uh, all I the virtuosos haste. Yeah, I, need like, the I didn't haste. even get it. <laughs> yeah, so now he's just he's just flooding so that he has obliterate won't just kill his blade master oh and there's a there's a two-step in my hand if river survived i'd be able to two-step that blade master yeah two steps a really cool spell um it's you give plus you, you make plus two units dance partners and you put plus two units uh, plus two tokens on each one of them and when one of them dies or river dies or any combination of stuff happens the they lose uh, the buff the buff goes away so the way you deal with it usually is like you just kill one of them but it's a really strong buff, especially if you have hasted guys. And especially if all of your units have Swift Strike. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so now all of his guys have Swift Strike, so it's going to be tough for me to even um, kill the right stuff. So um, the duck is going to kill two of them right off the bat. Uh, but I think I'm okay. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Because uh, older brother here can attack the Tenderfoot or the Starlet. No, just the Tenderfoot. Just the Tenderfoot. And then the Revolver Ocelot can kill the... Uh, Grand Falloon, flag bearer, okay. and uh, without the uh, without the flag bearer there, you can uh, probably play another stomper. Right, right. Because I know you didn't squad lead the. Uh... Yeah, you should. Oh, yeah, there, there we go. go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm like, if you don't do that, then that means I just I, I just use my little guys. I, I got to start making the right plays at some point in this game. Yeah, I, I use my little guys <laughs> to clear out the other two. No, come on. And then the duck obliterate will just oh, I just automatically kill the blade master. No, come on, you know the Blade come Master's on, gonna die. Squad lead. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna oh, no. clear out two that are not I'm telling you. Yeah, yes. alright, alright. Yeah, the idea was that if, if Duck attacks the uh, the Blade Master in the elite spot, he'll die. Because the tower plus the one damage, so he'll be a, an, an eight. Five with swift strike and one damage from the tower will kill the deck. Yeah, but it's not good enough because uh, uh, the other units will just kill the other things. Duck will attack and obliterate the blade master. Yeah. So blade master has to be in squad lead. Yeah, and so the way obliterate works too is if say there's only two units on the board and they're in the patrol zone. If I attack with the duck, I obliterate the two. Then I get to decide what to attack because now I'm attacking a different thing. Um. So now Duck only takes 8 damage and still survives because I didn't have the uh, the extra elite damage, but yep. I, I needed to squad lead. So those two just die to obliterate, and that's devastating. Then uh, attacks deal 4 to a base or a building, so I'm going to go straight for the base again. Did it already happen? I don't know, maybe you did it. I think if you... I, I think I see a bloom in your hand. I think uh, Troc bloom and then Ocelot destroys the base. Yeah, I think I forgot. I think I forgot. Oh, Sneaky Pig. Yeah, that's that's lethal. Yeah, he died to whatever he did. Yeah, Pig hits base, Ocelot hits base. And then I also take four from the duck. So. Oh, yeah, and then I grab my, I accidentally grab the tech board and spill my whole board. 
That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. Boom. Oh, d- <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I get a, I get truck out so I can play spells and then I end up putting like a messenger or I, I bloom a guy and that, that was like perfect lethal. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's like overkill lethal. It might have been. Yeah, uh, it's that's four damage plus three damage from the uh, ocelot plus uh, another four damage from the uh, yeah from the sneaky pig. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I take eleven there. Yep. So that was the starter game. Uh, bashing versus finesse. A little bit of a uh, stumbling around in the early game for finesse. Bashing just kind of played big guys and realized that there wasn't a threat and teched up real quick. So what happens when you tech too many spells and your hero gets killed? Yeah, <laughs> it's right here. We're just you know reassembling the starter deck. Uh, in the top left corner, there's like a little nub, and you can see which ones the starter cards. Also at the bottom of the card, you see the little orange bands on those Iron Man, the silver on the uh, it's like a bronze, silver, and gold. Uh, you can see the Trojan Duck has a gold, the Iron Man has a a, a bronze, and the Sneaky Pigs and Hired Snoppers have silver. So that's how you know. It's pretty easy to tell which yeah. of your units are your Tech One, Tech Two, Tech Three units. Yep. Yep. All right, good game. I think. Uh, yep, come, let's move yeah, on to the next one. Yeah, come back for our next video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll probably have a link in the description to to the next video. We'll do another. Uh, we'll do another bashing versus finesse game after this. So check that out. Yeah.